Welcome, parents and guardians, to our 2021-2022 Fannin Kinder Roundup. This is the virtual presentation. Our in-person Kinder Roundup will be here at Fannin Elementary uh, Thursday, April 22nd from 4.30 to 7 p.m. here at the school. I'd like to welcome our class of 2034 to Fannin Elementary. My name is Dallas Horn. I am the campus principal here at Fannin, and my assistant principal is Ms. Gina Geeslin. Some other very important people to, uh, for you to know and include here is Ms. Vanessa Williams, our counselor, Ms. Robin Smithart, our PEAM secretary, and Ms. Tammy Dyer, our administrative assistant. You'll see these people quite frequently at the front office uh, when you visit the school. Also, Nurse Bray. Uh, nurse Bray is our uh, campus uh, registered nurse and she would like us to, to know, and, and, and very important for you parents and guardians, that please make sure your, your child is up to date on immunizations before the first day of school. Uh, you can send those immunization records with the students uh, at the Kinder Roundup. Um, you can bring that in, uh, or if you need to get that taken care of this summer, you could do that as well. Uh, play, please send an extra change of clothes for spills or restroom accidents. Uh, especially at the beginning of the year for some of our kinder students. And if your child has any health concerns, any medications that they take, asthma, seizures, food allergies, uh, please contact Nurse Bray at sbray at cisd.org. She's looking forward to a great school year. Our parent pickup and drop off for car riders, um, it will be in the front of Fannin. If you'll see the picture here to the right, um, in, you'll see the front of Fannin and Parents will pull into the front drive. There will be someone there to assist your student getting out of the car, as well as dismissals. There will be people there to help teachers and staff that will help uh, put your student in the car. Um, but it, you pull in through the front drive and then you'll exit out of the far end of the drive uh, to the right. Our arrival time starts at seven o'clock to 7.40. Our school starts at 745 and the students do eat breakfast in the classrooms and that begins somewhere around 730 uh, when the teachers pick them up. At dismissal, uh, our school ends at 315 and anywhere from 315 to 330 for dismissal, teachers uh, will be outside with their classrooms for car riders and we'll have your students ready to go when you pull up. So what does kinder look like? <clears throat> well, it looks like collaboration. It looks like engaging activities. It looks like students having lots of questions and fun learning. So I'd like you to meet this year's current 2020-2021 Kinder team. We have Ms. Rojas, Ms. Lang, Ms. Atalano, and Ms. Hodge. Some helpful hints from that team is they would like students to consider and, and be able to verbalize their wants and their needs. By raising their hand, they could ask questions. Um, and if they need something, they can ask a teacher if they need something. Also, if they are able to say their name, their first and last name is important. They'd be able to write their name and recognize their name. So if a student is called by name or they are asked what their name is, they would know what that is. Also, if, uh, a point to consider for this summer is really work with your students to get them, themselves dressed, including uh, knowing how to button, snap, and close hooks on their clothes and pants, and to be able to tie their shoes. Also, we do have bathrooms located in each of the kindergarten classrooms. So if a student is able to be independent in the bathroom, that is preferred and best. Also, sometimes this can be tricky, but to be able to independently open milk and food packages at breakfast and lunch is important. There is some time for them to learn all that, um, but just some helpful hints from our team. Also to be able to use scissors, glue and crayons. That's a frequent activity uh, uh, resources that they use in the classroom. And then this summer parents and guardians, you can work on them being able to identify several letter names and some sounds. Just go through the alphabet with them, have them make the sound out. Count to 10 with and without objects is important. Um, pull out 10 pieces of cereal and have them count out the cereal for you. Um, then maybe let them eat it. I don't know. You can decide that as a parent or guardian. Um, and then separate from their parents and independently get in and out of the car. 
So that that can be a challenge, you know, especially, you know, early on with kindergarten students, um, just being able to come into the school uh, without your help or guidance. And, you know, we understand the first few days and weeks might might be tough, but our goal is to allow the student to independently come on into the school, feel safe, feel secure, uh, and we will help them with that. We want you to know that the best is yet to come. Um, your students are the class of 2034. And although that seems like a far out date and year, um, it will be here before we know it. And so we cannot wait to see you on campus, one at our virtual roundup on April 22nd, but also school starts August 12th, 2021. Um, it'll, again, that'll get through the summer, but it'll, you know, get, it'll, it'll be here before we know it. So if you have any questions, feel free to call the school at 903-602-8540. And we hope to see you at our virtual, at our in-person, apologize, our in-person Kinder Roundup uh, this Thursday from 4.30 to 7 here at the school. Thank you for your time.